the powder cochineal. That's a bug? It's yeah. an insect? Yeah, it's an insect. And, and when it dies, it changes? When does it change color? Yeah, look. Uh, to, to show the colors, we are going to sacrifice. <laughs> oh my wow. gosh! It is the first color. It was alive? Yeah. Now it's dying. <laughs> it is the first. Yeah, now the I use lime juice to get other sheets of red. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, when we, we get the red color, we use it also in our school to painting and doing ceramic and also in our festivities we use as a natural lipstick. Natural lipstick resists 24 hours and is kiss proof. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> now, uh, now we're using the plan. I use powder of cochineal with the, in a clean water. She get yellow colors and she get a green. To fix the color, we use a mineral. It is a volcanic stone. Uh, his name is Colpa. We use to fix the color. Are you ready to take a picture? Ten dollar each one. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's twenty. Okay, one, two, and three. All the color is natural and also permanent. When we start to make our weaving, the colors doesn't stain. The next process with the cochineal is salt. This natural salt we bring from Malas Morai, we have important mine salt. Okay, we use also in, for cooking and also we use to, the, uh, to fix the color. At the same time, we use to change the color. Okay. Are you ready for the exam? <laughs> I have two questions. One, uh, just for men, and the second question is just for the ladies. Okay. The first question, just for men. Try to guess what color is going to change with salt. If you give me good answer, I give you present. No. Just yes, the men. Yellow. No. Brown. This is brown. Yeah. Yeah. It has name fruit. If you have the answer, write your hand. Orange. orange. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, orange. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah. 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 Sir, do you want your present? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> no, kiss. Yes. No, for kids it's one hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Do you want your present? Yes. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> your present is you can choose one of these ladies <laughs> to take a picture. <laughs> After the present, <laughs> we we make this. It's the second step of the spinning. Okay? The lady has two threads and she she used her hands and she put them just in one thread. We do this process to get a strong thread. After that, uh, we use like bolt to start to make the the work pin. Okay. 
in this process we combine the colors according how we are feeling. If we are feel happy, we put yellow colors, orange, but if we are feel bad, we put black or brown colors. We work between two persons. Um, the most important to show here is the technique we use in our work. All the thread is in crochet. With this technique, we get both sides. Uh, for example, my blanket has the same side and it is reversible. Mm -hmm. And also with the same design. The, the different color you can see here is for the design. And the orange color is just for in the middle. For this work we use 500 threads and for our blanket for big work we, we use 1000 threads. Now I show you the back straw balloon, uh, how we weave. Um, we use different tools. All of you can see here is of wood. Now she's using a 700 thread to make this blanket. All the pattern of the design is in our mind. We don't use a computer or copies because our work is generation to generation. Uh, we don't have chronicles who mention about books, uh, but our feeling, our uh, belief, we represent in our textiles. Um, the second question for ladies. This is, his name of these uh, tools is Rookie. Try to guess. What kind of bone is? No guinea pig. No, 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 no. Lama. No llama. No. No. Not even horse. No. Do you want to know? Human bone. It is a tourist one who didn't buy anything. I'm kidding. It's a llama. <laughs> and to make one of those textiles, we need one month. We work five or six hours every day. All the process is handmade and 100% natural. This uh, textile uh, has a nice design. Okay. In the border, uh, we can say it, uh, the green color uh, represents the coca leaves, and, and the red color represents the world. The meaning of the of this design is the pumas cloud. The pumas and the yellow color in the border represent the condor's peak. And after make the blanket, the another lady is making the border. The border is other process called Nyawi Awapa, the Inca Prince's eyes. It's the border. Uh, yes, our textile in Chinchara village, we make the border. Okay. If you see another market, if you, it has the border, you say it's from Chinchero. Okay. It's like our signature we make uh, in, in our textiles. And now it's reversible. And it is other with more design. If we, if we included more design in our textile, we need more time. This was the whole explanation. Thank you so much for your visit, for your attention. Now, <laughs> now I invite you to appreciate uh, the handicraft we made here. You can pay in visa. Um, <laughs> 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 you can buy him. Okay. Can you do something? Can you do something? Can you do something?